What it do, Aries? How y'all doing, my sun, moon, and rising? We're doing something different for you because it is your birthday season. Happy Aries season to all my kings and queens. Hopefully you're having a good one. It is intense. It is rough, but this is a love and romance reading for Aries. Let's see what's going on for the week ahead. My singles. So if you are single, this is for you, but it looks like you walked away from something, huh? You walking towards something. I hope it's something good, something hot and spicy. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. What's in the energy for you? Let's see what's going on. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Definitely something coming in your way as a beautiful gift. Is it from the divine? I feel like it is. And it is something that you... Whoa. I meant to pull this card from the top that I got. And the back of it, you ride it into some beautiful energy here. Aries. This is definitely something that... You walked away from that left you unfulfilled. Your cups were empty. You finally passed and overcame the test. And that was a spiritual lesson. And it's coming into a victory. It might have been very difficult to navigate through those emotions. But you are fucking amazing. You are loved. You are appreciated. And I know it's been rough. But you're stepping into some beautiful energy here. That is very spiritual. Connected to the universe. And you know... When you complete a contract, when you complete a cycle, when you overcome those hurdles, that is when the beauty comes in. When you least expect it, you know. Sometimes you have to go through certain things to overcome and see what it was all about. And I feel like, boom, Ace of Pentacles, definitely a love offer coming your way. Get ready, because you ain't going to be single no more, huh, are you? That's very interesting, Aries. We starting it off hot and juicy for you. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what's going on more, though. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oops. I just dropped the Sprite that I was drinking. Anyway, some fears, some anxieties, you know what I'm saying? Definitely been going through the emotions, some sleepless nights, probably some things that you were overcoming, those hurdles, those challenges, you know, it definitely left you feeling betrayed, empty. You know, you probably felt very heartbroken, you know what I'm saying? Very heartbroken, you know, there was a tough time that you overcame. I know it's difficult, easier said than done, but you overcame those feelings and thoughts that were keeping you stuck in a deep feeling of guilt, shame, sorrow, heartbreak, betrayal. But hey, it's, it was all a part of the plan. You know, it's difficult to say that, but it's the truth. You know, everything happens on this universal language and you got to be aware of your vibration and energy so you can make sure you can you know manifest the things you want in life but you're still going to go through these things to grow and evolve that's what it's all about you know what i'm saying so i know it's been difficult but we're seeing the good side we're seeing the good side huh and definitely pisces season was definitely everything in the spiritual closet that you might have been suppressing or avoiding that definitely came up to the surface there wasn't no hiding there wasn't none of that you know what I'm saying? For all of us, not just you. What was that card? Yeah, two of cups. So definitely some sort of contract was completed that you walked away from. Now you're stepping into some beautiful love and romance here with this person. But let's get a spiritual advice card for my singles. You know what I'm saying? And definitely know that, you know, whatever you closed out that you walked away from Aries, it was meant to happen. Regardless of that pain, regardless of that betrayal, regardless of that heartbreak, I hope you learned and applied the lesson and gave it a definition by your own means. And the card that fell out for we, for we, because I'm an Aries moon as well. However, Knight of Pentacles, so definitely got some beautiful energy coming your way. I gotta remember, I'm saying this, so the frame gotta be right. However, something's definitely coming your way, Aries. And tempers at the bottom of the deck for your spiritual advice. You got to make sure this is something organic, divinely aligning with what it is you are wanting to experience. And the card under that is that Ace of Cups, baby. Whoa, that Tower card moment. We saw that one. We saw that one, Aries. But I feel like this is a Tower moment for you to realize the epiphanies and the moments and the realizations of everything you went through was leading to you leading you to this very point and that was the self-love the self-confidence the understanding the ability to have compassion and love for yourself and others and forgive 
okay? And heal. Whatever it is that you went through was a cycle that you finally broke free from. And now you're like a free bird waiting to fly out the cage. And the tower card is not always a bad card, but it can definitely indicate some sort of major pivoting moment for you spiritually, psychologically, emotionally, so on. But it can also be a card if this is connecting to an, an ex. Let's see. If it's connecting to an ex, that means... Are they willing to come back and talk to you, work things out, or just close it, you know, get that closure? I feel like some of you might want that closure, but let's see. Well, interesting enough, that Six of Pentacles followed with the King of Cups, you know what I'm saying? Five of Cups as well, so you might not get that closure. You might not get what it is you want to hear, and that's okay, you know what I'm saying? But... Where's the singles energy going though? You know, let's we'll see what they feel about you. Not the ex, not the past. Stop romanticizing it. I don't even know why I pulled it. That's a big, whoa. Whoa, baby. And the same two cards came out, but with judgment and the queen of wands. So definitely that self-love embodiment and realizing the spiritual journey the healing everything that played this role of you making that decision to truly step away from i don't know why i dig into the past and i feel like somebody needed to hear that even though that was a little jumbo everywhere however getting back into my groove momentum of starting to post every single day for youtube youtube shorts tiktok instagram and facebook about Tarot for Aries to Pisces, love and romance. I might bring that into career and finances of each Zodiac sign having this longer own video. Let me know if you want to see that or if you feel like it all separate, separated. Whoops. And don't forget, I also do Law of Attraction, Law of Assumption, everything you need to know about manifestation, teaching and practicing myself of the proof and the pudding for those of you who you know, want to share with a friend that might not believe it or just doesn't know where to find the right people. And I'll also link some in the description that I personally watch that have helped me on my journey. However, Aries, that's all I have for you. I hope you have a great fucking season, a great birthday. Even if you are not an Aries, sun, moon, or rising, be gentle. Take care of yourself. Put yourself first. Do not fall for the traps. Do not repeat the old cycles. And remain genuine, authentic, and follow and live your destiny. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Stay blessed as always. Later.